so uh, so uh, to welcome to thrive in abundance talk kamalami nozo to amsima nkansi bande that was um una ba benjamin tube na bafana the tube brothers but i am a man i'm a warrior <laughs> i'm still a lover i'm a king zogele zizindo and mama umlando is our guest namhlanje exen Bob Mwana is a professional associated gibbs but of course he's an author or life and thought coach and of course again yeah, we found out of ubuntu it network eh uzo zo siqeqesha namhlanje si si sikhuluma ngendaba enkulu kakhulu of liberating masculinity sele kukulingelela babo mwango exen is a thriving abundance talk Uh, thank you. Uh, yes, uh, I am very privileged uh, to be part of this conversation uh, uh, this morning. And, and thank you, Sis uh, Zodwa, for this platform. And I look forward to this uh, conversation. And uh, this morning. And uh, uh, let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right. Um, our payoff line is we are anchored in the words. Uh, let me just check there. First Corinthians uh, 16, uh, 13 to 14. Oh, Paule, Balela, Iban, Dalabase, Corinthe. Would it be watchful? Stand firm in the faith. Act like men. Be strong. Let all that you do be done in love all right so the first question Amen. is what is masculine <laughs> what is masculinity uh, 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 um there is uh, something that is remarkable uh, mm. that we find in the bible so let me just kick off by actually reading uh, this scripture in a uh, 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 in in genesis chapter 2 right. verse 24 yes uh, and so the the bible says therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother yes hold fast to his wife yeah. and they shall become one flesh Okay. So, uh, oh, there's a, 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 a strong dictionary, so this, uh, the, it explains what that term hold fast means. Hold fast. Um, and uh, he, he says figuratively, or, you know, the, the picturesque description of what it means to hold fast means to catch by pursuit. So, and, and I believe that in this scripture is hidden the portrait of what masculinity is and and so here is my description of masculinity yeah masculinity is a pursuit of a purpose and uh, we're gonna as we uh, uh, unpack uh, yeah. this what is the sense of this pursuit Um, and yeah. when we we're also going to be talking about uh, what because in neuroscience actually best testimony to this scripture so we're going to talk a little bit about that as well uh, in neuroscience uh, says masculinity is a pursuit for survival uh, and as opposed to e, 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 e femininity which is a, a a nurturing of a bond And All so right. we're going to see what, how this scripture actually reveals this powerful truth about masculinity being a pursuit of a purpose or survival and a, a, a femininity being a nurturing of a, a bond. Um, uh, somebody put it this way, a yeah. masculinity is pursuit for survival and yes. femininity is making that survival worth it. And so we're going to talk about that, but that's the brief uh, anchor in the word that we're going to uh, start from. All right. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, the pursuit for, for, for purpose and survival and, and um, femininity is to be more on the nurturing side. Yes. All right. Okay. I love that. Okay. I'm just going to read here uh, what we have. It says, according 
to popular belief how we think and conduct ourselves as females and males is not determined by our biology, but rather by how society expects us to think and behave depending on our gender. These expectations are instilled in us as we build our gender identity or our idea about ourselves as females uh, or males as we grow up. Femininity and masculinity are terms used to describe these expectations. Masculinity refers to our cultural expectations of boys and men, whereas femininity refers to our cultural expectations of girls and women. All right, so now just taking from what you've just told us coming from the Bible and the, the neuroscience. So is what, 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 what is the issue here? Is it the, the confines of that are, you know, that have been uh, uh, coming from the way that we have been raised or maybe the expectation, where is this coming from? Yeah, so Sisodwa, that's such a powerful juxtaposition. Uh, uh, that you've just made. And, and I want, uh, because I think this is going to, uh, 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 when we make this juxtaposition, yeah. it's going to illustrate why should we be talking about masculinity in the first place? So why oh. this topic? Um, yeah. and, and so uh, uh, the, this is, uh, uh, and I think this is what we need to uh, uh, see here. Um, there is a way in which God has designed his universe in life. All right. There is a way that God has designed humankind, mm -hmm. but there is a way in which we have been socialized yes. to show up. Ah. Okay. Now, right. when there's a tension between the way we are designed Mm -hmm. And the way we are expected to show up or we are socialized to show up, it yeah. is inevitable yes. that there is going to be some clash, some, uh, um, uh, some uh, 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 head-on collision. And so the challenges that we see, whether it's femininity or masculinity, yeah. but today yeah. we are focused on masculinity. Masculinity, yeah. That yeah. conflict is what we are seeing today in terms of what is called toxic masculinity yeah. is as a result of the conflict between the design of a thing and yeah. the how the thing is used. Okay, so, okay. So it's a powerful juxtaposition, says Zod. Yeah, 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 okay. So it's the design and how it is used. <laughs> All right, we seem to be having a bit of a challenge with the network this side. Uh... I can still hear you on my side. Oh, you can still hear me. Oh, okay. Yes. All right, okay. All right, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. So it says here, so today we obviously will look at what does being a man entail and what a percentage of it is determined by biology and how much impact does the society we live in have on men and how much yeah. control do men actually have over their actions. Okay, so in your view, what does being a man mean in the current society like right now where, where we where we are in the 21st century um so as as i think if we build on your earlier juxtaposition that you made um, and yes. that yes. the expectations uh, of what uh, um, masculinity is and so when we look at the 21st century yeah there are I think the, the first thing I think I want, let me talk about how we've been socialized 
uh, because for us to understand what it means, we need to look at how we've been socialized. And, and I'm talking now particularly, I want to focus particularly on men in, the, in our continent, in Africa. In and, Africa. And South Africa. Perfect. Yes. So, Perfect. so the socialization of males has been that your, you, the, this identity, these expectations that you read from this quote, has been that you are a man if you can display your masculinity by the degree which you can show how much you catch. And, and often this has been manifested in, in terms of um, uh, how many uh, 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 a woman you can, uh, relationships you can get into. Now I'm talking here socialization as I grew up as a, yeah. as a male, yes. uh, as a young male uh, yeah. uh, in high school and through my education. Yeah. The, the one thing that we always talked about was and so the essence of our identity was to the degree to which I could be able to demonstrate how good I was with yeah. this pursuit of women. Yeah. So can you see that there is a wiring yeah. in men yeah. of this sense of pursuit, but our socialization uh, used this pursuit incorrectly. So we were, so it, 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 whether it's culture or socialization, the, the bottom line is mm. that the, the, a, a, the, our wiring was leveraged for an incorrect purpose. We are, we are created for pursuit to catch. Um, mm. uh, but when I am socialized and my identity centers on uh, how many women then I yeah. can have relationships with and women becomes the catch in the 21st century it's not just women money uh, women and whatever else the pleasures of this world it yeah. becomes that catch that we pursue and so now the 21st century has socialized the male kind mm. to demonstrate their worth by the degree that they can demonstrate how much catch they have in form of women, money, and worldly pleasures. All right. And so that's, right. that's really the bottom line. And that's the problem we are dealing with. And that's made a, a toxic a masculinity toxic. And so what um, Miles Monroe says is yeah. that uh, where, when we don't understand the purpose of a thing, yeah. uh, the abuse of that thing is inevitable. Yeah. So our yeah. socialization has caused, uh, has, has made us to abuse this drive to pursue mm -hmm. a catch. And so that's where we are right now as, 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 as men. The, the socialization to, to, uh, that's making you to, to pursue a catch. Okay, so today we want to liberate. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> All right. So, Namshaje, Sifunubuti, Si liberate, oh, Baba, and our boy children. So, Mshambe, I guess, Kale Lapo in your view, you've just explained what you've just explained. So now in your view, what then becomes toxic masculinity before CXNN is liberated? Okay, so there's three uh, uh, key issues that we need to understand yeah. what makes masculinity toxic. All right. Okay. Um, and, and I want to bring in uh, some, uh, a little bit of what we know uh, from neurological biology or neuroscience uh, yes, for us yeah. to really understand why this becomes toxic. And so yes. the, the first thing uh, is, uh, I want to connect to what I said earlier. When we make our pursuit, uh, the end of our pursuit, instead of it being um, a, a stable, 
family or instead of making that pursuit being our purpose for existence when we are socialized to uh, pursue those things that are uh, 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 kind of have become the expectation of what it means to be a man then it becomes toxic now neuroscience says that um, we've got uh, what is called neurotransmitters, Abanye, they say it's hormones. But oh. when I have the, 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 that feeling that I get when I've got my catch, it uh, produces a neurotransmitter called dopamine. Now, yeah. dopamine is a neurotransmitter or a hormone that floods my brain and I get that deep satisfaction yeah, that I've yeah. achieved something. Yeah. Now, yeah. The, the problem with dopamine is that it is highly addictive, ah. highly addictive. So where toxicity comes is that when in my pursuit of women, money, and pleasures, and yeah. each time I get this rush of dopamine, yeah. I then become addicted to the yeah. behavior of pursuing the next woman, the yeah. next brand, yeah. the next yeah. pleasure, yeah. because I am yeah. craving the rush of this yeah. dopamine. So this is now, when this happens, it's what Miles Monroe is talking about. I am now literally abusing this, uh, uh, this uh, 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 masculinity because it gives me this dopamine fix. And so yeah. I'm just con consistently chasing for another thing, another thing, another thing. The second thing, Sizzoto, that yeah. then becomes a problem yeah. is, that, is that now, because I have this behavior, mm -hmm. I leave a trail of mm. broken hearts mm. in society. Mm. I leave a trail of unfathered children. I leave a trail of women in tears. And sometimes, sometimes is order. I leave a trail of curses that are pronounced over my life. Yeah. And yeah. so I become entrapped yeah. in this curses and I become entrapped these tears that are, are speaking against me. Yeah, yeah. They are holding yeah. my destiny Ew. because Ew. I am all my pursuit because my pursuit is being abused for a wrong thing. Yeah. I have this consequence of leaving a trail of heartache, tears and pain, unfathered children, and, and then we become the society that we are. Hence, yeah. Yeah. we call it toxic masculinity. Yes, this is what I'm going to challenge. I'm thinking of the tears, I'm thinking of the case. I mean, I mean, I mean the cases, and I'm thinking of now you are being sort of like entangled in this whole thing, and you are just wondering what? Why am I not able? In the bin to zami inga shanga ani kandi in the bin la pemba kuleza inyembes. Yes, yes. And so, so I mean, if I may just, if I may just read a scripture because what you are saying is so powerful, um, yeah. and 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 the scripture actually tells us exactly what happens when we leave a trail of tears. These tears are, are condemning me. So this is what uh, the word of God says in Exodus, Exodus chapter 21, verse 23 to 25. It says, but if there is harm, okay, yeah. heartbreak, yeah. you yeah. father children. And so if there is harm, then you shall pay life for life eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot, burn for burn, wound for wound, strap for strap. And now I know some people are going to say, but that's the Old Testament. Now, what I want us to understand, Sizodo, as yeah. a matter, in yes. especially, is yeah. that is that this is the law that God gives to Moses, is yeah. actually a, an illumination of how the universe works. So essentially, 
what uh, uh, God is telling here, the nation of Israel, he's yeah. saying he's saying that if you do harm, yeah. that harm yeah. is a thing that goes forth and you shall pay for it, right? And so yeah. even though we, we may claim now we are living in the New Testament and yes, Jesus yes. has forgiven us the sins, um, uh, what we need to realize, what we need to realize is that those tears, until we repent, this is mm -hmm. and this is when you ask, how do we liberate masculinity? Yeah. Uh, if your daughter has caused yeah. this trail of harm and tears, if you are not living in repentance, if you don't account for every tear, for every pain, for every heartache that you've caused in a trail because you are pursuing that next thing for that dopamine fix, yeah. what will yeah. happen is what yeah. the Bible says here. You yeah. shall pay. Your destiny shall be encaped. We are, you, you, you know, you're going to try and be doing this. It fails. You're doing that. It fails. Or you get into this deal. It collapses. Why? Because these things are standing in condemnation because you have not repented. You have not confessed what you have done. So how do we liberate masculinity? Yeah. We need to account accountability for what we have done yeah and if yeah. we don't account these things are gonna come back and and so what we see today men so many men yes. uh, struggling to find yeah. jobs uh, yeah. struggling and and often men then start to say um you know uh, this empowerment of women empowerment thing, of women um, mm. Um, because look now we we are struggling to find jobs but no no yeah yeah are living the consequences of the trail of pain and heartache that we have lived and we have not repented we have not accounted for we've got unfathered children that we are not taking care of we've contributed to the mess that we see in this society mm, 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 mm. okay now we have to assist um, the men, because we want to see a society to being progressive. I mean, like we need to get to the space where I think the almighty wants to see in South Africa and Africa at large. In liberation is our portion, but it's like, oh, sugar, can't they know? It's a big thing to the one who created us. So step by step. Now, the first thing, right now, or they'll be listening later, which, okay, how do I then begin to do this, you know? Because yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> two are the three words, the three words every woman wants to hear. Yes. yes, I am sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. And you're like, please, I can also buy flowers for myself, dude. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, so you are asking then, Siswami, so step by step, what yeah. should then men be doing you know yeah. so Swami, i i maybe let me start here um a friend posted on facebook uh, yeah. uh last week uh, uh -huh. uh, he posted on facebook uh, uh so you know there are this facebook post he says um uh, can you share how somebody broke up uh, or broke up with you and so what was interesting is i read through all the comments 90 more than 90% of them were by women and, and many of them, you could still see that they were filled with heartache and pain. Yeah. Um, and the Jongo Bush says, Swami, what is, the problem is men don't realize how these 
this is these trails of heartaches. They think it's a small thing. Uh, you know, uh, I find another catch, right? I pursued and found another catch. So you know, I need to move on. And and so the the pain that they have left. Um, and so what this means, Swami, is that as I'm a daughter, mm. um, and, and you know, my wife makes a, a, a good portrait of how repentance works. <laughs> um, yeah. and, 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 and she 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 gives a portrait of who cleaner, you know, when you are cleaning the, the insides of a, you know the, the cow belly. Um, okay. Uh, okay. The, the, this piece of meat, a city Bible, you know, the one with the, all the pages where the, yeah. the, the grass is digested. So yeah, 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 she yeah, gives yeah. this a, a picture that uh, repentance, um, because often a lot of people mistake uh, 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 saying a prayer uh, with repentance. To say, uh, you know, uh, I am sorry um, uh, um, is, is good, but it's not repentance. Uh, Absolutely. It's, 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 it's just the registering your intention to engage in a process of repentance. So All right. now the step-by-step step is that now bringing in back this metaphor of, of cleaning the, the, the stomach of a cow is yeah. that this these, this uh, uh, life is like diff pages where, you know, if, if you were to take that customer and just put it in a horse pipe, you yeah. would uh, end up with people eating a lot of uh, <laughs> a grass because it won't be cleaned properly. Even dipping yeah. that cow stomach in water is not sufficient to make it clean. But yeah. what you need is to run the horse pipe through each page and mm. make sure that all that debris, uh, all that grass is removed yes. and you put in these pages. So step-by-step -step for men is that yeah. you need as men, we need to go back to every catch <laughs> that we <laughs> pursued. Yes. <laughs> to every catch that we pursued without purpose. And we need, to, we need to open each page and we need to wash it down. And as we know, washing it down means that you go to that person and you say, yeah. I cause heartache. But that's not enough. Okay. That's yeah. repentance. And, and so for us who claim to be disciples of Christ, yes. it also then means to say, where, you know, there's a, an amazing scripture of a, a, a Jesus encountering Zacchaeus. So, mm -hmm. so uh, we don't get the inside of exactly what they talk about, but we know, we know the outcome of that conversation because when uh, Jesus eventually meets Zacchaeus and have the, this conversation, he says at the end mm -hmm. that everyone I have cheated I will repay them fivefold. So you see, Zacchaeus understands, gets mm. it because he's been with Jesus. He yeah. gets it, what yeah. repentance is. And he says, yeah. I will repay fivefold where I have messed up. Yeah. And, and so yeah. what I want us to understand mm -hmm. is those of us who claim to have been with Jesus need to be like Zacchaeus, where we say everyone, everyone that we have uh, uh, hurt uh, and we have uh, inflicted pain mm -hmm. will account. And so you open this uh, uh, cow stomach and you clean mm -hmm. page by page. Mm -hmm. uh, every mm -hmm. one of those relationships where mm -hmm. you can still relocate and find them. And, mm -hmm. and why this is important is because um, those, uh, when you account, and, and this is why, you know, the, the power of the cross is mm. that for each, uh, 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 for each trespass, which we yeah. account for, which we repent for, it yeah. is then taken. So we, it's, it is repaid at the cross. So we are taking it, we are putting it at the cross because ultimately uh, 
Jesus' death on the cross repays for all our transgressions. But it is not a blanket you know, a thing, we need to account first and that's when then it gets taken to the cross. Uh, 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 and, and then we get cleansed of that. And, and then our masculinity is liberated or, 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 or restored so that our pursuit is not money, women uh, and pleasures, but our our, our, our masculinity uh, is the pursuit of God's purpose. And, and our dopamine, you know, when Jesus meets the woman at the well, he says, um, he says, the, my food, he's like, my dopamine is to do the will of the father. Mm. So I get a fix from doing my father's will. My, mm. my, my pursuit is fulfilled. I get satisfaction from pursuing what is the purpose of God for my life? And so when we get restored, our dopamine is to do God's will, is to uh, manifest what is the purpose of God for us. But it starts with opening each one of those pages and allowing them to be cleaned. And therefore, no accuser stands mm. in the spiritual realm Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and, and, mm -hmm. and 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 stands in accusation of mm -hmm. what we've done which is what holds back our destiny which yeah. is what holds back our impact and influence um so i my, my life was a mess uh, if i may just share very quickly i okay i like that <laughs> i'm glad you're going there because i was gonna ask <laughs> There is a guy who's listening to us or who might be catching us later on YouTube who will be like, but I'm not a disciple and I'm not interested in that stuff. But in the past, but uh, please, with the, you know, the Jesus thing, you know how yeah, it's like, yeah. especially yeah. with the youth. Yes, yes. And I'm happy you are saying that, Siswami. So that's so, so profound what you are saying, because there are people who listen to us and we, we speak these cliches yeah. and, and they say, but you know, for me, uh, what does it mean? And so let me, allow me to say this, and then I'm going to share a little bit of my testimony. Sure. Um, the, the, you know, the, there's a powerful thing that happened in the 17th century. Isaac Newton discovered uh, the laws of motion. So the, yeah. the, the force of what we, you know, yeah. we talk about is the force of gravity. gravity. And so what, what, I am, um, what uh, uh, say Isaac Newton's discovery uh, enabled us to understand is how the universe works. And, and so uh, for someone who may not be in Christ, uh, at the very least, you need to understand there is a way the universe works. Yeah. Whether we like it or not, force of gravity, whether you, if I jump from a tall building, whether I'm in Christ or not, if I jump, the force of gravity will apply. And so right. the, the discovery of Sir Isaac Newton were quite pertinent in this way. Um, that, you know, he said, he said uh, the, the first law of motion is that if an object uh, is, is a, there's an external force, it will start moving until an, an, a second uh, external force stops it. So now, um, when we, when, so I would like us to see it this way. Yeah. When I do harm to someone else, yes. there is a law of God that says that I, when I cause heartache, that heartache becomes an object mm -hmm. that is, uh, so that external force and that object moves in accusation of me. Now, whether I believe I'm a believer or not, that object stands in accusation, stands in its ability to be used by the forces of darkness to hold me back. And so it's a law of the universe if I, right. if I inflict harm. And so yeah. here's how this applied to my own uh, 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 story. Mm -hmm. In 2010, mm -hmm. I'm gonna start the story there uh, right. because at that time I thought I was a legend, I was a, a Christian, I spoke in tongues, I kicked the devil. Uh, in 2010, I lost my uh, job, uh, lost my company, 
and I was unemployed for about three years. And so, and this is what happens to a lot of men when you get unemployed, suddenly you cannot provide. So you have no pursue and a lot of men get depressed because this happens. And so the Holy Spirit then started to do a work in me to say, do you know why you are where you are? Do you understand why you are unemployed and you are struggling to, uh, um, get traction to get your life uh, back on course again. And then the Holy Spirit started to minister to me quite powerfully and said, you have been living your, for yourself. You've been pursuing your own pleasures. You've been pursuing your own things. Your, your life has been about you, even your marriage. I had been married uh, um, uh, for 12 years then. So the Holy Spirit was saying, even your marriage, the only reason you are here is not for your family. It's you are here for you. You are here because you wanted the status of getting married and because that's what everyone expected for you to do. And then the Holy Spirit started to say, you need to own up. If you want to reclaim your life back, uh, if you want to reclaim your masculinity, your ability to provide for your family, you mm. need to repent. And then the Holy Spirit started saying, your selfishness, you need to own an account to your family, to your wife. Um, uh, um, uh, my wife and I, we went home and, and to my father. And I, I said to my father, dad, I have messed up. My marriage is is in a mess, have been living selfishly. So I, we went and I accounted how I had caused harm. Um, and this is why, you know, uh, James, uh, Apostle James, he, he says, confess your sins to one another. Yeah. Um, so, so because this is how we, we, we expose, you know, the work of darkness in our lives. And so yeah. to cut a long story short, yeah. I had to clean every page. Mm. I had to account to my wife for all the things uh, I had hidden. The secrets, mm. my financial, I was in a financial mess because I had a mountain of debt that I, I had accumulated that now she had to uh, 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 pay. We had to sell our house uh, and we had to go and live with our two kids in a two bedroom flat with my sister-in-law. So this was this was the ultimate, if you like, humiliation, humiliation. of a man. Absolutely, yeah. So, but this is how the Holy Spirit then started to deal with me. When I did that, Siswam, and let me just then just conclude by saying this. When I did this between 2014 and now, mm. God has taken me to places that if you were to look at my qualifications and my experience and you would you would say but you are not supposed to be where you are given you know what yeah. you have yeah yeah and so yeah. god started opening doors and since i have written and released two books um i um, engaged and and i get the privilege to work with some of the uh, top leaders in our country um, and yeah. I get to work with you know I I work at um, the the premier business the top business university in mm. in South Africa and um, mm. sometimes I get asked uh, by the the business university to facilitate some of the uh, the internal processes so this is when God opens the door for your destiny, to your destiny, yeah, yeah. Um, notwithstanding uh, where you've come from. But it comes with repentance. It comes with owning up. It comes with cleaning down the pages, uh, your mess, owning up to your mess. And so my daughter, this is what I'm saying, yeah. is, that, is that we were created to mm. pursue a purpose. A purpose. And yeah. in that purpose, in that pursuit, um, we would then be able to provide for our families. And, and so as we provide for our families, the satisfaction that the dopamine that we get because we have provided with our families and, and the testosterone, this is another neutron, neurotransmitter, uh, enables yeah. us to drive even harder uh, to, mm. to, to live out our purpose.
but mm -hmm. our purpose, our masculinity, if it is uh, used wrongly, it gets abused and we leave a trail of pain and tears that stand in accusations and condemnation of, 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 you know, of us. And so our destiny is caged. And so that's why we are talking about liberating masculinity this morning. Wow, <laughs> that's quite a mouthful. And I'm thinking now, someone, as I was saying, and you, of course, you made an example of, you know, Isaac Newton and all of that, the universe, that is, if you are not into understanding um, the whole thing about repentance, because it does require you at least to have a particular posture, you know. So now someone who is still struggling with that to say, uh, oh, yeah, no, I hear you, but you know what? No, you're right, you know, um, yeah. I, just, I don't want to go that route or direction. What's going mm. to happen to them? Because yeah. we want to liberate um, this masculinity. And we really, because it, it's got a lot of, I think, uh, there's a ripple effect to a man that um, is not in a position where they are supposed to be. Like you were giving us an example of you not being able to provide for your family. It's the worst thing that can happen to a man. And unfortunately, right now where we are as a country with the level of unemployment, that's what's happening. Yeah, yeah. And, and I love your question, sister, because it is the reality. When uh, many people understand what repentance means and what it costs, they then say, I, I will take my chances. Uh, uh, I can't, I can't um, uh, because there's fear of what if I go uh, to um, that person that I hurt and, and uh, you know, and tell me to go yeah. to the nearest hell. What yeah. happens? What if, what if, what if? Now, and it's a possibility. <laughs> Yeah, yes, here's the thing. Uh, yeah. uh, maybe let me also just take a leaf out of what Umoyengwele did in that three years. So okay. this is what the Holy Spirit did to me. He said, in these three years, you're going to clean the house, you're going to wash the, so you're going you're gonna to take care of this household because this is how you're going to earn your authority. And so now this is how the Holy Spirit presented this to me, however. So because that was daunting for me that mm. that means i'm gonna be a house husband yeah essentially <laughs> um, <laughs> and, and and however the holy spirit said to me you are pursuing your liberation now now remember what masculinity is about it's about yeah. pursuit of a mm. purpose and pursuit mm. for survival so yeah. if you are a man if you be a man, if you say you lay claim to manhood, yeah. if you know the thing that you ought to do and you yeah. don't do it, then don't call yourself a man. Oh. Um, uh, uh, because, because a man, you, you, the scripture that you read is from at the beginning, beginning. So there are other, another translation says about that scripture. In understanding, be man. Mm. So, so what uh, Apostle Paul is saying there is he's, he's wanting, he's wanting uh, the church to understand that a man's so masculinity is about pursuing the thing that is right to be pursued. So that's the masculinity energy. Yeah. And so if I know that what is required of me is mm. to repent. Yeah. And I say, no, I, I, I will try something else. So you know the thing that is right to do, but you don't pursue it. Then you cannot claim yourself to be a man because you are refusing to pursue that which you need to be pursuing for your liberation. And so yeah. this is, and, and I'm, I'm saying, this is what this, appreciating that hmm. it's not an easy thing. Yes, yes. Okay, I'm uh, listening uh, to Babu Mwango. Yeah, Muzwa, Enge, Izwa, Lendo, Uye, Kaza. 
all right, now I've never, uh, like maybe um, even if I am in a maybe faith-based organization, I'm making an example, but um, I've never had some of my leaders talking a lot about this uh, repentance thing. I get to my thing, mangabe ungagabi familiar with yes, it, you yes. know, because not a lot of people are talking about it. Saying shongalente la oikazanga yo baba. So, but now niyafuna ge manju kala kuto manje. I'm not too sure. Ngati ngaba no muto zong mamba ge sanda, you know. So ungaba lulegu tini ge umuto osefunu wika. We are Israel and we are born and we are born and I would say no. You know what? This is not on. I know my potential. I know I am made for better things than where I am right now. And in fact, it's not even about me at a selfish level, as you're saying. It's also about what I need to be for my family and the society at large. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the beauty, Siswami, uh, of our lives is that yeah. whenever we commit uh, uh, to a thing, whenever yeah. we say, I am going to do this, God always makes a provision. Ah. Uh, there is some, everyone has somebody in their life. Yeah. If you would just sit down and say, okay, I am resolving today that I'm going to do this thing. So yeah. they, there's, there's two questions, Uguti. So how do I do it? But the other one is, uh, but you know, this could be impractical. Um, uh, how do I find those people? So now here's where I think it's important is once you've reached the resolve, I always find that God makes a way for you, one, to provide somebody also alongside. Yeah. Uh, uh, to to then walk with you. So for me, uh, uh, my wife was there, and that's why we were able to go to my parents and 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 for me to account for the mess that I had made of myself. Um, and 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 I think uh, God will reveal uh, wisdom for each individual. So yeah. I am not prescribing here, yeah. uh, Swami. Yeah. I am not prescribing that um, uh, exactly that, you know, uh, this is how you should do it. I think when you resolve that mm. I understand the principle, mm. I understand what, <laughs> what neuroscience says, I understand what the word of God says, but I also understand how the universe works. And so when you make that resolve that I will do what a man ought to do, I am going to be a man in my understanding. And I think when somebody takes that resolve, um, you will find that God will provide someone and a plan. And, and, and you plan. start people that, are, that you really need to account to are starting to go, are going to show themselves up. And so I am therefore not prescribing a one a size fit all about how yeah. you deal with repentance. But the important thing is that we must know that if we are to repent, we have to account and we have to be prepared to make good for what we have messed up. And so it's the resolve. That's important, resolve, and, yeah. and, and God will then uh, God will then um, uh, 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 help you. Those that want to reach me, I can give you an email address. Yeah. Uh, where um, you know, if you say I've tried this, I've tried that, mm -hmm. you know, I don't have anyone. Uh, 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 my email address mm. is vezi v e z i at uvezi dot com. So it's quite easy. Vezi at uvz.com or uvz.com okay drop me an email uh, mm -hmm. and 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 then we can uh, i can i can uh, 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 you know give you guidance but i i am convinced that god always makes provision for your journey resolve first S sit down and make that resolve god will provide a plan and a resource for that journey. <laughs> you know, as I'm just writing down here, I'm thinking, 
we've dealt with this before in, in, in our show in terms of who the Holy Spirit is and how do you listen to the Holy Spirit? Well, so many of us, uh, but I can't, I don't even know how to do that, how to listen to the Holy Spirit. So this whole thing is just sounds complicated. And you know, I, there are people that, um, sometimes both so sometimes you are not able or willing to listen to him. Uzo or her, rather. I have to get this correct so my daughter doesn't fight with me. <laughs> and have these conversations about oh, you need it to him. Why I be her? <laughs> yeah, we, so we are gendering God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we will yeah. show up on that. You know, so what mm. I'm trying to say, um, my face is that, um, so I know, uh, we are going to say, um, I'm going to say, 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 I'm I'm not going to be able to do that, or I, I just don't even know what to do, or I don't know um so what i wanted to find out from you is uh, do you have maybe some of my interventions as um uh, as uves <laughs> i'm thinking that's an organization uh or ubuntu uh network for that matter whereby you know whatever that will assist because I'm just sitting here and you know, this is coming to me and I'm thinking, hey, my daughter, this is why Lapaya, this is why Lapaya, this is why Lapaya. But now, yeah, yeah. you know? Yes, yes, yes. So yes, this one, you know, by the way, I love your insight into people's behaviors. It's uh, you, you have this deep, understanding of people and and you are absolutely right that becomes a question um and and so two 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 things that i want to say about this firstly let me say this um with my wife yeah uh, uh, who has uh, gone down this journey that has not uh, uh, gotten a hundred percent fold return on the investment. It, 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 it so for me consistently, um, I've never heard of someone uh, who has gone uh, and and did this, uh, undertook this very difficult process, who wow. has come back and said, you know, this thing I spun, uh, Ageko. And, and I'm talking about here, my seven years of having been consistently working on this with people. So that's the first thing that, yeah. that we have, um, maybe it's not empirical evidence, but we have anecdotal yeah. evidence that this works, yeah. okay? Yeah. So, yeah. so um, and, and somebody that undertakes this needs to understand that it works. But secondly, those that say, okay, you know what, I, when I look around, honestly, I, I can't. Um, mm. So are the interventions, Look, I think Siswami, we, what we can do is that somebody who drops me, if if we have say a few people yeah. that say we I we really want this. Uh, my wife yeah. and I, we regularly get invited to uh, speak about repentance. In fact, just last week, uh, my wife was running a class on repentance. So yes, there are interventions. Uh, mm. We can we we go deeper. We can go deeper so that people can understand uh, how it works and why it, it works that way. So yes, uh, we can. Uh, if there is enough people, we yeah. we can get them together. Um, and and so when we get our requests, just to. Uh, talk, have conversation around this. We do respond and and we we do spend time with people. So so yes, there there is such uh, help, and um, uh, they can just drop me that uh, uh, on 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 the email. Okay, perfect. But you know, that's just a part of me that's thinking about our faith based organizations. Um, um yes. Like, are we doing the work? Is a because I'm thinking about <laughs> 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 
I'm thinking, conversation, Yeah, this is my pain. Uh, this is my pain that a lot of people haven't uh, understood that a lot of our practices, uh, uh, particularly as it pertains to repentance, mm. are, are practices that have been borrowed from uh, uh, developments, particularly from the 18th, 19th century, particularly yeah. from the US, where yeah. we there was a mass manufacturing of the things that, uh, um, you know, it mass production. You yeah. cannot mass produce repentance. Neither wow. can you mass produce being saved. Um, and, and so unfortunately, I think what's happened in the history of the church is that is that discipling someone and taking them through repentance, it's hard work. It's, you know, my wife does this and sometimes she will spend hours on the phone answering these kind of questions that you are asking as a Swami on behalf of others. So, so the, 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 the church, I think what, what do we, the, the challenge that we have in the church is that I'm a And uh, when you have a one pastor looking after so many people, uh, mm. the, 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 the most logical solution for, for Iba and that is that you, 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 you know, you, you have a class uh, or you, so you, you turn these things into seminars and uh, because you're wanting to mass produce. Um, yeah. uh, uh, Jesus, that's why Jesus focused on only 12 disciples. He focused, the, he focused his life, invested his life on the 12. And that's why they were able to revolutionize the world the way they did. It's because they walked with him. They talked with him. They slept with him. They they saw him doing everything. So I think as Iba and like when we think we can uh, um, uh, do discipleship and dealing with these things on a mass scale, I think we have deceived ourselves. We have taken practices of uh, industrial uh, industrial philosophy where we think you you know we can do to people the same thing we do with products where we can go uh, and mass produce you these things it's we have empirical evidence as well yeah these things we cannot mass produce and so Emma and and I think the challenge is for all of us mature disciples of Christ is that yeah. if we are not discipling one person so if we are not taking responsibility of discipling someone, then it means that job is put on the shoulders of a pastor or a priest, and it's not possible to do. It's impossible to do. That's why these things, then we are not seeing them happening. And so ah. it, I, it, it's painful. Um, so when we talk about this and when I, you know, uh, elucidate uh, uh, about what's happened, we must be careful. It's not the fault of fundis. Okay. Uh, Abe fundis have got too much on their mm. shoulders. They are carrying so much. It's yeah. the fault that we have not risen up to the challenge and taken it upon ourselves to disciple so that Mfundisi will have the, the, the space to focus on, on the key leaders. Uh, then they can disciple others. So, so I think we, we are all complicit in the state that we mm. find ourselves in. And, mm. and the bottom line is, Repentance, you cannot mass produce it. Yeah. And until we put uh, take a step and put our shoulder to the plow, uh, we are not going to see this changing. And so that, that's really, mm. for me, is, is the okay. issue in my as well. All right. OK. Thank you so much, Baba. going forward um, in terms of making sure we see the, the leadership within the faith based, faith based organizations now, matata irresponsibility, yok discipleisha, goba ifune, if sifune si sevenzelend, goba iso, iso, yes. logi hambi hambi skin. 
yeah, you know, absolutely. they have they have this thing, you know. So there must be a way of um, finding a workable solution. And I must actually say, we would see uh, if you are going to be getting in touch with um, uh, Obaba Oves, you know, no sister, that basically, it must be perfect. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. Where <laughs> is that, that's important, Swami. I'm not <laughs> uh, they don't want they don't want to go there because yeah. by a tsunami, yeah. I my biggest fear, the first time Momoyangwale challenged me and I opened, I ran, literally, I ran. I said, no, 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 I can't. It's it's too much, it's unthinkable. I tell a jung fix, um, fix, you know, fix and acres lack of Jesus Christ. But the Holy Spirit was persistent and said, No, you need to deal it with it one by one. And so, the Aiki shortcut is unfortunately shortcut, and we need to open it, we need to face it, we need to. Face the gunk and the and the wonke la manya la a a history. We need to face them because they cannot be cleaned and cleared out. We cannot be released to our destiny if we are still sitting on these things. All right. I no. I think we've 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 said um you've said a mouthful about good to get see ukona ukona. Going forward, because um, this yes. is a time when we have to do these things, because it's all well and good. It's Kulumanga revival. It's Kulumanga. What does Colonel Zindola, a Brua, young Apans, Esna Funu, Fingele Lagzona? And it's going to be difficult for us if Singeko, mindful of the fact that we need to do these things, we have to be woke you know, to be able to get to the point. Babu Nwango for your time. <laughs> All right, uh, let me share these numbers um, for those that may require them. Uh, Lifeline, it's 086-1322-3000. And of course, El Sedek is 011-234-4837. Suicide Crisis Lifeline is 0800-567-567. And the Trauma Helpline is 0800-205-0008. So those are the numbers for um, uh, the people that may need um, to use them for any stressful situations. And of course, we need to take care of our mental and emotional health at, at this time. So these numbers are important. And Umaba Uvezi, we are Tolagala Lapaya, Uvezi at Uvezi.com. Vezi at Uvezi. Dot com. Are you available on any social media? Um, yes, um, yes, Zodwa. Um, the uh, the people can follow me on Facebook. Uh, just Tapu Vezi on Twitter. Mm -hmm. My handle is Vezi. Um, yeah, I think those are the platforms. Facebook. I also get um, messages on Facebook, um, and so yes, they can find me there. On, um, so there's also a website, uh, uvezi.com. Right. Um, they can also send me my message. So you can also, I've got a blog on the website and you can read oh. all my, what I write about, um, okay. uh, including the, the books that I've written. If somebody wants them, you yeah. can find the links on that website. Okay, can you tell us um, the names of the books? Uh, so uh, the first book relates to the story that I've been telling you. It's about transforming glory because really it was about how 
what enabled me to uh, 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 find that transformation um, okay. and, 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 and the, the cleanup campaign, yeah. <laughs> the cleanup <laughs> campaign of my infrastructure, uh, yes. of my cognitive infrastructure. So the first yes. one is transforming glory. And the uh -huh. second one is about being a vessel. It's, it's, it's titled Vessels of Glory. And it's about yeah. uh, what it means to be a vessel of glory. Um, yeah. And, uh, and and so the first one, Transforming Glory, Tolagala and Shonang Sizulu, and uh, oh. both of them, they are also available in audio. All the details are going to be in my website. Okay, all the details, Gababa Uvezi, are available on the website, www.uvezi.com. Yes. All right, okay. Yes, Katsako Nam Sanje Xeni as a thriving in abundance talk. Eh, utabalulu repentance. Nubalega kul. I am hoping good sim sample. So I pinde si tole engin dela. Yo good si legelele a my disciples. Guze inda ba i ande e igwazu legelela. E isizo sagi tiska kulga za simpi sholo. Uba squazu fingelela. Kule zinda wo e u twasizo fine lela kuzona. Yes. if we have a willing heart if yes. we have a willing heart all right okay mangibonge nam sanjekseni to my team la baba u lindani on the cameras today cc ubusi kumalo on the technical side and of course to angel imkizem on the hospitality side, Nolungani uh, Kumalo on the technical side, and uh, our producer, Umama Ubusi Shabalala, Ikamalami, Ngu Zotwa Msimang Kansibande, signing off this morning. Ya Tolagala, Ngui Vibe FM on Wednesdays, Njalo Ngo 9.35. This month, we are talking about if faith, if faith, because if faith should be our currency. So you catch me live on Vibe FM on Wednesday, 9.35 in the morning. I am signing out and wishing you peace, love, and joy, and all the blessings. All the best. <laughs> thank you, Siswami, and, and thank you for your ministry, powerful ministry. We really appreciate you for the work that we do. I pray that God will continue to bless you and expand you uh, because this is such an important platform. Thank you for having me this morning. Thank you so much. God bless you, Bob.